Welcome to The New Voice of Bragg. I'm your host, Deja Martin. And here tonight are some very special people, the judges. Number one on the list is the legendary FAMU quarterback, Albert Chester. Number two, a spotter for 30 years, John Spears. Number three, the original voice of Bragg himself, Kenneth Jones. And special guest, Madam President Elmira Mangum. Athletic Director, Milton Overton, Deputy Athletic Director, Elliot Charles, the voice of the Marching 100, Joe Bullard, the voice of Dope Campbell Stadium, Woody Hayes, and off camera, Alvin Hollins, the Assistant Sports Information Director. We've narrowed it down to the final three contestants, and they are Joquel Lawson, Curtis Ford III, and Kofi Hemingway. Stay tuned, we got something good for you tonight. and tear. Rattler Football 2016 is on the horizon. Get your tickets and parking now all at the same place. The FAMU Building Champions campaign allows you to buy it all at the FAMU ticket office. Come support Coach Alex Wood and the Rattlers as they embark on the 2016 campaign. Call the ticket office at 850-599-3141 or visit the web at famubuildingchampions.com. Since 1901, the FAMU National Alumni Association has tenaciously advocated the sustainability of our alma mater and assisted students in pursuing a college degree. Hi, I'm Radiance, and I'm one of those students. And the NAA's SOS scholarship rescued me. And now I'm back in school earning my degree in environmental science. Hi, I'm Greg Clark, president of the FAMU National Alumni Association. Come join us today as we secure the future of FAMUans of tomorrow. All right, my name is Jacquel Lawson, 32 years old from Tallahassee, Florida. Majored in broadcast journalism at Florida A&M University, graduated in 2007. While I was there, I was on WNM 90.5. Started out as a on-air personality, worked my way up to gospel music director, and then eventually program director. So I've been using my voice um, since my time there. I've been using my voice on Sirius XM. Uh, for host of a show, FAMU Now, as well as around town, hosting events, um, voiceovers, commercials, and anywhere I can. 
I practice all the time, even in the car. If I hear a song, I'm announcing it, I'm saying, you know, things in between or just acting like I'm on air. Um, I do it, um, almost embarrassed to say it, but in the shower, uh, in the mirror, just all the time, constantly. So I would constantly be working on my craft, how I would say things, um, the excitement in my voice, you know, things to make sure that I'm keeping the crowd hype, you know, because that's a big part of it. If I'm excited, they're going to be excited. And the players and the fans, you know, they feed off of you. So I have to give it my all so then, you know, they can put their all into it and we can win that game. So I'm going to be practicing constantly as I already do. Good afternoon, Rattler fans. On behalf of Dr. Elmira Magum, President of Florida a and and Mr. Milton Overton, Director of Athletics, we welcome you to Bragg Memorial Stadium for today's Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference football game between the Bulldogs of South Carolina State and your fan you Rattlers. Okay, so John is going to make the calls and it's her job to interpret in a game day situation how it will sound over the PA system. Okay, John. FAMU running back William Jefferson is on the carry for seven yards. That's FAMU running back William Jefferson on the carry for seven yards. On the play for the defense is James Floyd, number seven. James Floyd, number seven for defense. This play is third and seven and the ball is on the Rattler 40 yard line. Third and seven, ball on the Rattler 40 yard line. Passing play quarterback Greg Robinson throws to tight end Jeff Blue. Greg Robinson to Jeff Blue, and it is a good catch. Touchdown, Rattlers! Quarterback Robinson passes for 25 yards to wide receiver Kenneth Atkins. Robinson to Kenneth Atkins. That's going to be a 25 yard pass, and it is a touchdown, Rattlers! And Johnson throws an interception, and Terry Farrell with the recover, and he's going, he's going down the field, up to midfield. He's at the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, touchdown Rattlers! And lastly, we have a play that is third and 20, and the Panthers have the ball. Quentin Johnson again for the Panthers, scrambles, and he's sacked by Jacob Oates. Mm. Quentin Johnson with the pass, and it's a big hit by Jacob Oates, and that is a Rattler sack. Big hit for the Rattlers. <laughs> we walk mm. in with a sheet of paper. <laughs> read it is a sight read. <laughs> it is definitely a sight read. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we have a lost four-year-old here in the press box. Her name is Brittany, and she has on blue jeans and a FAMU t-shirt with orange bows in her hair. Please contact the nearest law enforcement to be escorted to the press box to meet her. Once again, we have lost a four-year-old named Brittany on the West Side press box. Also, a red Lexus SUV has left their lights on. License plate USM 496. Once again, that's USM 496 with a Marine Corp tag parked near the North scoreboard. Ms. Lawson, I thought you did an excellent job. You had nice vocal. You seemed very confident. Um, you exuded a lot of energy. Um, had a little swag about you, and I think that's, that's exciting. I think that's what we need uh, as the voice of the, the Bragg Stadium. Uh, it was very wonderful to hear you uh, announce uh, great volume, uh, great diction. Um, I really like to hear uh, the play that you made on the touchdowns. Good factual reads on the football from the spotter. I loved your energy. Uh, you made me want to see the game, so I didn't look at you, I listened to you, because oftentimes in the stands, that's what we're doing is listening, so I could follow the game and get the excitement from your voice and also from the description that you were providing. Mr. Lawson, <clears throat> excellent job today. Uh, as uh, the other uh, uh, hosts host have, have said or judges have, have indicated, uh, great energy uh, with the crowd. I know that the crowd was able to follow you. And, uh, you know, what we're trying to do, obviously, is make sure that Bragg Stadium is the most intimidating environment in college football. And I, I felt that coming from you. And uh, when you're an opponent, when you hear, you know, Rattler touchdown, and the way that you gave, you gave that and you delivered it, I believe that takes the win out of the sales of our opponents. I really enjoyed your enunciation and your enthusiasm about the position as far as being able to keep the crowd into the game. 
Uh, it was different. Uh, I was nervous, especially having to read the script in front of, you know, those prominent people, Dr. Mangum, uh, you know, uh, Kenneth Jones and, and Mr. Bullard and all of those people. So um, I just did my thing as I've been doing throughout the whole competition. And I just hope that I, you know, impress the judges. So it is what it is. I've always loved science as a kid. At the age of 14, I developed an innovative stitching technique. I decided to hone my skills at Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University, majoring in chemistry. FAMU's learning environment has pushed me forward in making my dream of becoming a trauma surgeon a reality. Oh, did I tell you my twin brother is here too? FAMU has pushed me forward in my college career path of becoming an environmental attorney. So what are you waiting on? Let FAMU push you forward. In today's high-speed, content-rich world, messages get lost in the noise. The ability to see the bigger picture becomes increasingly difficult when there are so many pictures. Sometimes it takes elevation above the noise, a higher perspective, go higher. Well, my name is Curtis Ford. Uh, I'm from Tallahassee, Florida. Uh, graduated from the FAMU School of Journalism and Graphic Communication in 2011 uh, from broadcast journalism. Uh, I currently work as a videographer at the Florida Channel. Uh, that's a division of uh, WFSU. Um, and we work in conjunction with the Florida Legislature. Um, you know, there's some cool things about me, I think. Uh, you know, one thing was I served as a mascot Venom here at FAMU for three years, from 2008 to 2011. And that was a pretty fun experience. I've never missed a FAMU home game in my life. Um, so coming back to FAMU and having this opportunity, I mean, how many people have the opportunity to be a part of their favorite athletic program and then be the announcer of a Division I football program? Not a lot of people have that opportunity. And it's, you know, it's a blessing to have that chance. Well, the best part of coming to the FAMU games is interacting with my family. Everybody in my family went to FAMU, um, so it's kind of in our blood. Um, every Saturday, we make sure we have our tickets. We've been buying tickets for decades, not just years, decades. Um, you know, I remember the great players, you know, the Jacque Nunnelies. Uh, my favorite quarterback of all time is Patrick Bonnet. Um, and I remember that team, Kane and Lamb, all those guys and all the memories that that brings. Um, I mean, that, the, the entire atmosphere and the entire tradition of family football and family athletics just really drives me and that makes me want to come back. Okay, Curtis, we're going to start out with your uh, script read. Good afternoon, Rattler fans. On behalf of Dr. Elmira Mangum, president of Florida a University, and Mr. Milton Overton, director of athletics, we welcome you to Bragg Memorial Stadium for today's Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference football game between the Bulldogs of South Carolina State and your FAMU Rattlers. William Jefferson, the running back, carries for a seven-yard game on the play. And that's a seven-yard pickup for William Jefferson, second and three. Robinson to blue, boy Rattler, first down. We have Robinson passing for 25 yards to wide receiver Kenneth Atkins. Robinson to Atkins for a big 25-yard gain and another Rattler first down. And that's a Rattler touchdown. Farrell picks off the Panther pass. Touchdown, Rattlers. Who's sat and on the sack for the Rattlers is Jacob Oates. And that's a big Rattler sack, Oates, on the play. So here's your impromptu speech. You need a good read. 
Attention Rattler fans, we have a lost four-year-old here in the press box. Her name is Brittany, and she has on blue jeans and a FAMU shirt with orange bows in her hair. Please contact the nearest law enforcement to be escorted to the press box to meet her. Once again, we have a lost four-year-old named Brittany on the West Side press box. A red Lexus SUV has left their lights on. License plate USM496 with the Marine Corps tag parked near the North scoreboard. I repeat, a red Lexus SUV has left their lights on. License plate USM496 with the Marine Corps tag parked near the North scoreboard. Separation was there. I go back to that lost car again. I guess if it was me, I would read that and I would also tell them they can meet the tow truck at this time for that uh, car that left their lights on, <laughs> more than likely parked in the president's spot. The tone is clear, it's there, but the excitement needs to come. Because you can't look at it as just a read. Even when he's telling, I know you're interpreting what he's telling you and playing it because you know the game. But you've also got to add excitement to what he's telling you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Mr. Bullard said it perfectly. I mean, we, can, we know you know the game. You said it, everything on, 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 on key, on point. Uh, you know, I, I got that you understood family football, yeah, great presentation, it's just the energy level. It has to feel like, like you're taking it up a notch. You're creating the atmosphere for everyone. So I'd say the only area where you really uh, needed to pick it up a little bit was uh, on the energy level. But otherwise, fantastic job. Thank you. Mr. Ford, great job. Again, um, <clears throat> I love the fact that uh, two things. One, uh, when, you, when you talk about uh, fan you, you know, you have a higher inflection. Okay, and then when you, when you talk about the, the opponent, it's lower. So people get that, hey, this is a home football game. You know, so we're here to support our, our football team and, you know, and they're just, they're just here uh, to lose. Okay, so I do like that about what, about what you said. And then uh, the whole process was pretty cool. Um, each, each round brought something different. Uh, the third round, of course, was the most daunting because we had to go up against uh, well, we had to perform in front of, you know, the president of the university and the athletic director and Joe Bullard and and uh, Woody Hayes from Florida State um, and, you know, Kenneth Jones. That was a lot of pressure. Um, unfortunately, you know, for me, I feel like I kind of, you know, crumbled under that pressure. Um, I just wasn't real proud of my performance uh, in the third round. But overall, it was a great experience. Since 1901, the FAMU National Alumni Association has tenaciously advocated the sustainability of our alma mater and assisted students in pursuing a college degree. Hi, I'm Radiance, and I'm one of those students, and the NAA's SOS scholarship rescued me. And now I'm back in school earning my degree in environmental science. Hi, I'm Greg Clark, president of the FAMU National Alumni Association. Come join us today as we secure the future of FAMUans of tomorrow. It's time for the fifth quarter classic. FAMU versus Tuskegee is going down Saturday, September the 17th at Lab People Stadium. Kickoff starts at 6 p.m. This rivalry has renewed after a 20-year hiatus, people. So it's gonna be all out war. For more info, go to www.5thquarterclassic.com. FAMU versus Tuskegee? Mobile will never be the same. Pew. Well, my name is Kofi Hemingway. Uh, I was born in Columbia, South Carolina, but in 1972, we moved to Tallahassee, Florida, where my parents, uh, Dr. Theodore and Beulah Hemingway, both taught at Florida A&M University. My, fa my father taught African-American studies, and my mother taught English, and that's how I got indoctrinated into the FAMU community. Um, 
Uh, in addition to that, of course, growing up, uh, my first FAMU game, I was about two years old and went into Bragg Stadium when Bragg Stadium actually was green. And, uh, you know, and the parking lot was all gravel and rocks and everything. And we went up in there and uh, I heard uh, the hundred, the, the band do slow one for the first time. And when the first boom went off, I was scared out of my seat. I had no, I had no clue. I was like, oh my God, what, what noise is that? What is that sound? But I immediately fell in love with the band to the point that my parents went and got me a play trumpet. I would get the, the play trumpet and I would lean back like I was just blowing up something and just doing it. I was doing dance routines at the house. I was, they went and got me a FAMU Spirit album. I would listen to it. I would do drills in the garage. I would do all of these different things. Good afternoon, Rattler fans. On behalf of Dr. Elmira Mangum, president of Florida a &M, and Mr. Milton Overton, director of athletics, we welcome you to Bragg Memorial Stadium for today's Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference football game between the Bulldogs of South Carolina State and your fam, you Rattlers. And we have William Jefferson carrying the ball for seven yard gain. That's William Jefferson for a seven yard game for the mighty fam, you Rattlers. On the plate for the defense is James Floyd. On the plate for the defense is James Floyd. That's quarterback Robinson to Jeff Blue for a 10-yard game and a fam, you Rattler, first down. That's a 25-yard play to Kenneth Atkins and another fam, you Rattler, first down. On the play for the defensive team is Curtis Smith. On the play for the defense is Curtis Smith. Make some noise. Quentin Farrell for the interception. 5-4-3-2-1. Touchdown, Rattlers! We have a lost four-year-old here in the press box. Her name is Brittany, and she has on blue jeans and a FAMU shirt with orange bows in her hair. Please contact the nearest law enforcement to be press escorted to, to her. Once again, we have lost a four-year-old named Brittany on the West Side press box. A red Lexus SUV has left their lights on. License plate USL 496 with a Marine Corps tag parked near the North scoreboard. Repeat, a red Lexus SUV has left their lights on. License plate USL 496 with a Marine Corps tag parked near the North scoreboard. Kofi, great job, man. I mean, you're, if you become the voice of Bragg Stadium, you have the power of the microphone. And you've got the gift of the microphone. The energy's there. You brought the fans into it, which for you, I mean, radio play-by-play -play and doing what Josh Jackson does is completely different than what you have to do as the PA announcer in the stadium. Your job is to bring the fans into it, and man, I just just encouraging the fans, bring them into it, bring that energy. Great job, man. Really enjoyed your audition. Kofi, amazing, amazing, amazing job. I hate to discount anything you did, but just two points. I want to go over with you really quickly. Uh, the cadence, vocal cadence. I felt like you ended a lot of your statements at the same point, same level, same volume. I think the nervousness may have contributed to that. I would love to see more shades of Kofi. I want to hear more of that personality and how you uh, convey your voice. And lastly, if you don't get this gig, if I was the king of Zamunda, I would hire you to <laughs> Excellent job today. <laughs> oh, wow. He started off and he didn't say anything about the boss of the Marching 100. I was a little concerned. <laughs> you were talking about the drum cadence that you heard first, but I won't hold you at that. <laughs> the sound is now, and you're there, man. The voice is there. We know you know the history. And as Chester said, you bleed orange and green. And when you didn't say he won the championship, <laughs> I thought that was going to be a problem, too. <laughs> well, that was definitely an incredible experience, uh, seeing all of the Rattler legends. Uh, Ken, and then, of course, Albert Chester, uh, Joe Bullard, 
the president of Florida a &M University uh, saw a lot of friends and just people that were around. It was just an incredible experience. Even the voice of Doak Campbell Stadium was here. That was amazing. Uh, the way that you all, um, you know, they kept coming in the room in the back. It was like building anticipation as well as a lot of pressure um, to come in and try to deliver. In today's high speed, content, rich world, messages get lost in the noise. The ability to see the bigger picture becomes increasingly difficult when there are so many pitches. Sometimes it takes elevation above the noise, a higher perspective, go higher. Blood, sweat, and tear. Rattler Football 2016 is on the horizon. Get your tickets and parking now all at the same place. The FAMU Building Champions campaign allows you to buy it all at the FAMU ticket office. Come support Coach Alex Wood and the Rattlers as they embark on the 2016 campaign. Call the ticket office at 850-599-3141 or visit the web at famubuildingchampions.com. I've always loved science as a kid. At the age of 14, I developed an innovative stitching technique. I decided to hone my skills at Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University, majoring in chemistry. FAMU's learning environment has pushed me forward in making my dream of becoming a trauma surgeon a reality. Oh, did I tell you my twin brother is here too? FAMU has pushed me forward in my college career path of becoming an environmental attorney. So what are you waiting on? Let FAMU push you forward. Pink FAMU because of the school spirit. Because it's a family. Strike with us. Strike with us. Strike with us. Strike with us. I chose family. I chose family because of our rich culture. The only reason why you should choose family is the number one HBCU in the nation. Strike with us. I chose family. I love family. You, you should strike with us. What's up, Rattlers? Lynn Thompson from Bethune Cookman here, and I want to congratulate the three finalists on your reality show to replace the legendary Kenneth Jones. Man, he's had a great career calling to action. Can you imagine one of the nation's top universities and most storied football programs, and he's called that stuff for over 30 years, and now we're down to three guys. One of you three will have the privilege of calling the action at the Florida Blue Florida Classic. We're gonna be listening to you. We're gonna be looking out for you. Best of luck. Take care. And so it's a very special, a very special event, um, especially when you know the historic nature of the schools. Uh, Mary McLeod Bethune, uh, of course, FAMU, we've been here over 100 years. And now here you have a, a good game going on. You just can't beat it. How is that person going to actually portray themselves as the new voice of Bragg? And will they be the right fit? And the new voice of Bragg is... Welcome to Bragg. 